Hi there, I'm going to show you how to make this paracord bracelet. Um, it's known as the Caterpillar Sinnet and it's quite a nice looking design um, but it has a few benefits over other designs. Uh, one being it's quite small so it's not really bulky on the wrist and the second reason that this is a lot better than other designs is its quick release mechanism. I'll just demonstrate that quickly on this bracelet that I made. So as you can see it's just got this little knot which keeps it secured and to release it quickly all you do is put this knot through here and then simply pull it on this and the more you pull the more will be released you can just pull it all quickly and it'll release just like that and then you have four four to five feet of power cord ready to use really quickly so it's quite a handy bracelet to have um, as opposed to the other ones where you have to untie each knot uh, as you go like the cobra stitch and other bracelets right so to start off with this bracelet we're going to take one end of a string like this and we're going to make a knot called the scaffold knot now this is how you do the scaffold knot you make a loop like this and you put this over here and now you do once over just make sure you have enough rope you do once over twice over through this loop and now you want to go under these three loops right just like this and what you end up with is a scaffold knot and so from here we're gonna make a second loop now what I do here is I loosen this up a bit like this just by pulling this one which is connected to the loop and that makes these two loops here loose and now we're going to take our other end of the power cord and we're going to thread it through these two loops just like this now we're going to pull on this until we've got another smaller loop ok so now we have two loops what we're going to do is we're going to tighten up this one again just by pulling on this this bit here and now we have a loop that can be adjusted by the other loop so what we're going to do is we're going to make this one quite small because this loop here is going to be this loop which our little knot will go in to secure the bracelet so I'm going to make that one quite small by pulling on this bit here and that will do if you can put your finger through it that should be about right and then we're going to make this other knot quite small by pulling on the leftover bit of power cord we've got and we're going to turn it around so that this little end piece is facing away from us and what we're going to do now is we're going to put this bit through here like this and just pull on it so now you've got a loop inside the loop and for this bit we're just going to pull on this bit of rope here and make that first loop quite small 
and tight. So you have something like this. So now you have this loop, and what we're going to do is we're just going to do the same thing, going to make it a bit smaller, we're just going to put another loop through like that, and then we're going to pull on this, and that will tighten this up here. And we can pull on this bit again to make it a bit smaller and just do the same thing. And basically, we're going to do the same thing throughout and that's going to make up the bracelet. Now you can make these a bit tighter if you want or you can leave them quite loose, it's really up to you. Um, I like them quite tight but not too tight because it'll probably make the power cord easier to pull apart when when you need it. So just do it as tight as you want and we'll just keep going through like that. So put a loop through the, this loop, pull on it and repeat. Just like that. Now you can do this for all of your cord if you want and you'll just have a nice long bit of rope which you can pull apart when you want, but to make the bracelet it's best to um, put it around your wrist every now and then just to see how big it is and you'll be able to adjust it to your wrist size. Um, for this piece of cord I'm just going to do this until we've got to an end so I'm just going to skip to that bit now. Right, so when you've found the right length that you're happy with um, for your bracelet, what we're going to do is we're just going to put a loop through again, but this time we're going to pull it all the way through, just like that, and tighten it off. So then you're just left with this piece of rope here, and with that we're going to make our stopper knot, which will be used to secure the bracelet through this loop. And the knot that I like to use is called the double overhand knot. The reason I like to use it is it's quite thick, so it's not going to come out of this loop anytime soon. And also it looks just like the scaffold knot. So this is how you do the double overhand. You start off with the single overhand, and then you simply loop it through a second time, just like that. When you pull it tight, you should have something that looks like that. Now you can slide it along here if you want, so it's a bit closer to the main bracelet. And now we have a finished bracelet. You can just put this bit of cord through here, and the stopper knot should go in right nicely, and it should be nice and secure for you. Now, if you followed the instructions exactly, we should have a loop left over here. And what I like to do is I like to loosen it up a bit and then just put the rest of this rope right into there, just tuck it in. And it should just make it more flush against the main bracelet. It's just a nice feature just to get rid of this a bit. You could always trim this off if you want, but I like having it there just just so you don't have to trim any of the cord when you need it really. And that is how you make the bracelet. Um, yours will look a lot better than this, this is really messy, but I just made it really quickly. Um, this is one I made a while back and it's a lot neater, as you can see. And obviously it's quick release, so just to show you again, to quick release it, you don't even have to undo this knot, you just pull this through here, pull the knot through, till you're left with the loop, 
and then you just pull that loop and it'll just pull all of the loops through just like that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to leave a comment below and if you've liked all my videos so far, subscribe. Thank you for watching.